welcome today we are posing to ourselves the question as to why we say that human body is open book of vedic mathematics why we add the adjective that human body is a cyclopedia of vedic mathematics science and technology open book of vedic mathematics and full encyclopedia of vedic mathematics science and technology is our body simultaneously the question is what are the other books of vedic mathematics and which are other encyclopedia of vedic at the outset i take art as open book of vedic mathematics and encyclopedia of vedic mathematics knowledge likewise for me sun is open book of vedic mathematics and same is also an encyclopedia of vedic mathematics this way we are having a set of three books of vedic mathematics firstly human body secondly earth and third is sun we have three encyclopedia as well this triple encyclopedia namely human body earth and sun vedic mathematics science and technology available with us therefore sadhakas fulfilled with the intensity of search to be parallel with the values teachers and processes of vedic mathematics and of vedic mathematics shall approach these sources human body sun these three sources are having two distinct layers to this first is as open book of vedic mathematics second is as encyclopedia of vedic mathematics technology here it naturally becomes a query as to why the word adjective open is being attached with the book of Vedic mathematics. The reason is that as we are having direct straight interaction with the human body With the earth and sun, so these are the open books. As far as the encyclopedia nature of these three sources is concerned, the word "open" is being not attached. As here, we cannot straight away read them with. in the form we can interact with these three sources to be parallel with vedic mathematics science and technology we have to be parallel with its processing step vedic mathematics is a pure values discipline while mathematics science and technology is a pure values discipline the pure values discipline and it being directly having interaction in terms of our senses is a very a beautiful aspect of it the processes reach from values to processes 
required for a week from medical domain to sciences and technologies domain. This in a way can be said that we have to reach from the open crust, the stool shari, the mundane body, to the inner crust, inner layer, suksham shari, the subtle body. For being parallel with processes of Vedic mathematics and technology, we have to go parallel with the functional format of the Suksham Sharir. However, to be parallel with the values of Vedic mathematics, we can remain, we can afford to remain up till the Suksham Sharir itself. The word formulations is of TC value 20. Why the word formulation suksham is of TC value 26. Value 20 as domain is having value 18 as dimension. Therefore, when we say that we are directly in interaction with human body as an open book. That simply means that we can it as that this domain value 20 being approached in terms of dimension It is this which is to be the interaction. The interaction with the body in terms of its senses simply means we are having values pair 18 and 20. Value 18 is the value of summation of four folds representative regular body of five. Three, four, five, six are the quadruple values of four folds of hyper summation value 3, 4, 5, 6, 18 and the senses in the rear. The senses to is in and it is interaction of mathematics. These are the reservoir of values of mathematics. However, to be parallel with the processes of mathematics and technology, we have to reach the formulation suksham is of TC value 26. Value 26 is the summation value of hypercube. But five, six, seven, eight. The quadruple values of four folds of hyper seven or five, six, seven, eight. This way, values pair eighteen and twenty six is the basic values pair in terms of which we are approaching these open books and encyclopedia. Value 18 and value 26 lead us to summation value 34, which is the TC value of vision, transcendental space. This summation value 18 plus 26 has 44 as the TC value of paravision, transcendental space, deserves to be visited again and again. Firstly, as that 18 and 26 straight away take us to Vidya and Delta. 
Divya Vidya, Devta Vidya is the Vidya, which is the Vidya of Vedic mathematics. Vidya and Devta, Devta Vidya. It is this domain which is the functional domain of human body, earth and Surya. Therefore, sadhakas of fulfilled intensity for it to be parallel with values of Vedic mathematics and processes of Vedic mathematics and technology shall sit comfortably and visit these continental code values of the world formulations Devanagari Initiation in this domain at preliminary phase and stage one shall be well acquainted with the format features of Devanagari alphabet step. The second step is going to be that one shall be well acquainted with the Sutras and Sutras. In fact, one shall memorize this text. The moment this text stands memorized, and the moment one is having full imprint of this text, the moment Vedic sounds of these letters of the of Sutras are fully echoing the mental organ. The same will get imbibed well in the intelligence field. These two preliminary steps of acquaintance with Devanagari alphabet and memory of the text of Vinita Sutra Sutra when are followed by the third step of having conversion for letters alphabet to numbers alphabet, then it can be said this one is having preliminary course of this discipline. This preliminary course is of three steps. Firstly, the Devanagari alphabet acquaintance. Secondly, the memory of the text of Vinita Sutras and Sutras. And thirdly, the transition and transformation from the letters alphabet to numbers. This third stage is the stage of reaching at the second fold of the format Devanagari alphabet. Devanagari alphabet is of compactified formats. The uppermost surface, the uppermost format features are as is letters of the inner fold, the inner surface of the Devanagari alphabet is Ankh Samamanai numbers format. Varan Samamanai letters of may be taken as stool shari mundane body format and ankasmamnai numbers alphabet is to be taken as sukshan shari subtle body format. Therefore the preliminary course will make 
oneself of such potentials that one can take off for take off we are having triple potentialities firstly the organization format features of the nagri alphabet secondly organization format features sutras and thirdly the organization format process transition letters alphabet right these three streams of potentialities are being designated as preliminary potentiality streams as in fact it is only along this foundation our superstructure of vedic mathematics values and vedic mathematics technology features is to be established is to be is to be organized now taking it we are having this foundation of triple potentialities of organization format features of the nagri alphabet organization format feature of the text sutras organization format feature of transition from the letters alphabet format to the numbers alphabet format these three potentialities will help us to take is further deep forward and it will be in the form of having a reach from body to causal body means that as we are having a transition from sthul sharir mundane body to sthul sharir so we also have to have further transition from the sukshma sharir to karan sharir therefore it can be said that the second phase and stage of learning and teaching values and processes mathematics and vedic mathematics science and technology are going to be of insight comprehension and enlightenment as to how transition process which worked and had taken us from mundane body to sukshma to sukshma shri same is to be extended further having an attainment further attainment for the transition from the sukshma shri to a subtle body to a causal body this transition process extension will require that we shall have full comprehension of the triple world formation namely sthul suksham and word sthul is of tc value 20 word suksham is of tc value 26 word karan is of tc value 15 so see if we look from the mundane body ul sharir value 20 the karan sharir that would mean that we want to reach value 20 to 50 if we place ourselves in subtle sharir subtle body means if we place ourselves at value 20 then our reach at value 15 will have a gap of as many as 11 units 
26 is equal to 11 and 20 is equal to 15. Now see, from 20 to 15 would mean having additional value 5 for value 15. And from 26 to 15 would mean we shall have 11 units for having a reach from 15 to 20. Therefore, we have to have a proper comprehension of the interrelationship values pair 5 and 11. Value 5 will take us to five space. Five. Value 11 will take us to 11 versions of hypercube 5 and parallel to them there being 11 geometries of a space. Therefore, this transition process which takes us from value 20 to 26, when is to be extended from value 26 to value 15, then we are in fact availing the format of cube 5, which is of 11 versions. This would mean that when we are having hypercube 5 with us and the same is leading us to value 11 parallel with 11 versions of hypercube 5 and value 26 parallel with 5 space in the role of a dimension leading us to 5, 6, 7 and hypercube 7. Therefore, this process as it is going to be the process of handling different features of hypercube 5. We know hypercube 5 is a setup of quadruple folds 3, 4, 5, 6 of summation value 18. And value 18 as dimension takes us to value 20 as a domain. Let us have a pause. Let us revisit. We are in fact here availing five space that is. We are availing hypercube five, the representative regular body of F. We are availing quadruple folds, three, four, five, six, and these quadruple folds of five are leading us to quadruple values, three, four, five, six, of summation value 18. Wow. Now we know value 18 is parallel with the TC value of Vidya, value of Prakriti, TC value of So see, when we are having a transcendental format, means five space format, means Ashtat, means the fifth element, means the fifth space, means hypercube of five, then it is as if we are revolting back from Akash Tatu. So when we say we are at Karan Shari, we are at causal body halt. When our milestone is at five space, when our milestone is in its that would mean that starting with five space as hypercube of five, as of value 15, 
then straight away it comes to focus attention that five space is a solid dimensional frame there are as many as five solid dimensions these five solid dimensions which are constituting a solid dimension frame of five dimensions or five space leads us to value 3 to 5 to 15 so see when we are at the causal sharir causal body when we are at karan sharir that means in fact we are at the dimensional frame solid dimension of five space means we are approaching the space element as a dimensional frame of five solid dimensions from there from five solid dimensional frame when we are having a structure the frame is going to be of 11 versions these 11 versions of hypercube 5 as such are the 11 five space bodies these 11 five space bodies are the bodies of 11 geometries of the five space c when we are at a karan sharir and we are at value 15 this value 15 is parallel with the solid dimensional frame of five dimensions of the five space now hypercube of 5 five space of 15 value dimensional frame is having 11 versions and these 11 versions of the 11 representative regular bodies of 11 geometries of five space therefore in karan sharir we are having a solid dimensional frame of dimensions this setup of solid dimensional frame of five solid dimensions as of value 15 is amounting to manifestation of hypercube of 5 11 versions as 11 representative regular bodies 11 geometries space 11 plus 15 equal to this makes our sukshma shri our further the value 26 accepts its organization as the quadruple values 5 6 7 8 are parallel with the quadruple folds of hypercubes means five spaces dimension is boundary seven in an eight space is an origin therefore a reach from the karan sharir causal body to sukshma sharir mental body is a reach from a solid dimensional frame of five dimensions to 11 versions addition for this setup making it to be value 26 as the summation value of quadruple folds of hyper so reach from karan sharir to subtle sharir is a reach from five space as the mean to seven space as a domain therefore coming back from karan sharir to sukshma sharir is going to be a reach of five space as dimension therefore when we place ourselves in a sukshma sharir in a subtle body at value 20 then reach from 
to 20 is of six different units. Now see, value six is one unit ahead of value five. Now, fifth element is a space. The sixth element is two. In fact, from the Sukshim Sharir, manifestation of the stool Sharir is only because of the intervention, additional supply of values by the Surya, by the sun. It is the sun, it is the Surya which is of TC value 13. Now, we know that for current Sharir, we had additional value 11 to reach at this Thul Sharir. Now, this additional value 11 as dimension will manifest 13 as a domain. So, this 13 as a domain parallel with the TCV of a Prakash. Therefore, this process coming from a parent Sharir, the causal Sharir, the causal body to Suksham Sharir and step ahead to Sthul Sharir is going to be a process which is the internal as from Sthul Sharir to Suksham Sharir to Karan Sharir and back is going to be an internal process. Therefore, we say that Vedic Mathematics is an open book. Encyclopedia is simply a scripture. It being a scripture, so we have to have transition and transformation for our charma chakshu or physical eyes. And these physical eyes of body sharir, which is of TC value 14. So from sharir, we have to reach at atma being, which is of TC value 17. Therefore, to have imbibing of the entries of encyclopedia we have to have transition and transformation for our term, our physical eyes. That means this transition and transformation is to be as is going to be transition and transformation before the format of a physical body to being to this transition and transformation from value 14 to value 17, which is the requirement. Now value 17 is parallel with the TC value of a Dravya content, matter, ether, whatever the name we give it. And this value 17 is also parallel with TC value of Divya, transcendental. Therefore, the requirement for imbibing the processing steps of Vedic mathematics, science and technology from sun, earth and human body as encyclopedia, we have to have a transition, transformation for 
आवर फिजिकल आई चर्म चक्षु टू आवर ट्रांसेंडेंटल आई दिव्य चक्षु श्रीमद भगवत गीता इज प्रिजर्विंग प्योर एंड अप्लाइड वैल्यूज फॉर दिस मैकेनिज्म फॉर हैविंग ए ट्रांजिशन एंड ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन फॉर फिजिकल आई इंटू ट्रांसिडेंटल आई इन दॉर्म ऑफ द स्टेप्स मेडिटेशन श्रीमद भगवत गीता in its sixth chapter is preserving cantos for this meditation process it is the atam sanyam yog it is the discipline of a yoga bhagavad gita now this process this process which initiates itself from sixth chapter it reaches up till chapter 11 vish roop darshan yog and vish roop darshan yog is the 11th discipline of yoga and it is here where sanje with the grace of vyas and arjuna with the grace of shri bhagwan are having transition for their physicalized transcendentalized both sanje and arjuna with their divya chakshu or having glimpse of the vishnu roop darshan of shri bhagwan krishna incarnation of vishnu the overlord of his sins these incarnations manifestations as such are such that the whole range of sthapatya mayri rod from one space to space are unfolding themselves at the same place in the same domain therefore the process of transcendental meditation which is observed as an initiation in atam sanyam yoga the sixth discipline of gita is having its culmination in the form of arjuna as well having the grace for transition and transformation for physical life into a transcendental and a step ahead the 13th chapter 13th discipline of shrimad bhagavad gita khetra khetragya vibhag yog has further transition and transformation for the divya chakshu into gyan chakshu the knowledge i so from physical eye to transcendental eye to the knowledge eyes or the attainments of 11th and 13th disciplines of yoga of shrimad bhagavad gita it is this enlightenment which on its imbibing will provide the necessary insight intensity to have comprehension of 
the transition process from karan sharir to sukshma sharir to sthul sharir and also as a back process sthul sharir to sukshma sharir to a karan sharir once we are is to face with this compactified format of human body then we will be in a position for a further take off which is called guna atit beyond three folds of features values this is a turiya this turiya state this fourth state which manifests its own and it is this self manifestation of the fourth state which is the enlightenment reservoir of shrimad bhagavad gita as vedanta trai the essence of the essence of the vedas this in fact is taken as having transcendence from the vedas as well vedas being taken as manifestation domain of three folds of gunas and to have a transcendence from this three gunas state is a turiya state this state is transcendental lord to have appreciation of this phenomenon one shall sit comfortably and have a revisit to the setup choir it is a transition from linear order three space to spatial order the square when splits into quadruple quarter squares then it would be blissful to take note that if out of four quarters of square if we have a choice only for three of them and when we synthesize three out of four quarters of a square then these three quarter squares on synthesis make a setup for full square with the fourth quarter of the square being in the format and features of unmanifested it it is this unmanifest state of the fourth quarter of the square which deserves to be comprehended it is only with the comprehension of the unmanifest state for the fourth quarter of a square which will help us have an appreciation as that if instead of a three dimensional frame three linear axis if we are having a three dimensional frame of three spatial dimensions then our cube hypercube 3 as three space body split into eight sub cubes as manifestations along eight tenths of three space three space is of seven versions there are seven geometries of a three space 
this is a linear order phenomenon the upper limit of a linear progression is up till seven geometries of three space corresponding to which there are seven versions of three space cube which are representative regular body of a three space now three space limit stands settled with manifestation with manifestation of three space as of seven versions only however we have seen that when this linear order three dimensional frame transforms into spatial order three dimensional frame then it brings in the eighth component to as well it is this emergence of the eighth component as an additional version for seven version setup of a cube which deserves to be completed well let us again have a pass if we visit the center of a cube then at first visit it appears that this point is like any other point of three space domain however the center of the cube is a seat of the innermost corner points of all the eight sub cubes of the cube so this center being a seat of placement of innermost corner points of all the eight sub cubes of a cube would mean that the center of the cube is enveloped by eight corner points of eight sub cube it is this status of the center of a cube having a solid boundary of eight components in the form of the eight innermost corner points of all eight sub cubes of a cube which takes us a step ahead from the setup of a cube as a representative body of three space to set up a hypercube for the representative regular body of a cube let us again have a let us sit let us revisit our interval as a line is having pair of end points our surface square two space body hypercube two developed with a four boundary lines our cube hypercube three three space body our room is having four walls floor and a floor and a roof therefore the boundary components of interval are two and these are the points boundary components of square are four lines boundary components room are six surfaces step ahead naturally the next body this body will be the body component eight and those eight to be it is this transition from the setup of hypercube three to four from three space body to four space body which is happening at the center of the cube itself which deserves to be imbibed well once we are face to face with this happening 
at center of the cube in the form of a transition phenomenon of a reach from three space body to a four space body then we will be blissfully parallel with the phenomenon of transition from the three fold compactified format as thul sukshma and karan sharir to the next four yasti why it is called turiya it means in dynamic state it means a motion it means a flow that is transition from solid to a liquid this is as we are reaching from number 3 to number 4 first triple numbers whole numbers 1 2 3 the whole numbers which are not heavy any factors but number 4 is the first composite number as it is having two as factor now it is this composite state at the fourth whole number state and further as 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 2 multiplied by 2 as well as 4 and minus 2 multiplied by minus 2 as well as 4 so this additional set of features of addition and multiplication operations getting superimposed indistinguishably as if we are having addition operation operation we are reaching only four but still further if we have a change in the orientation so if we reach from 2 to minus 2 that means if we reach from the first phase of a surface to another phase of a surface the opposite phase of a surface even then this process will get unified we get superimposed in value 4 and everything will appear to be indistinguishable setup it is this set of features which deserve to be appreciated further if when we had started with linear order that when one space is a dimension it has taken us to four spaces in origin but now when we, we will start with two spaces dimension it will take us to four spaces in origin this is another reason why the fourth state is a turiya state and the overlord of this fourth state is not brahma for a lord but it is shiva a lord let us again have a pause comfort me let us revisit numbers 1 2 3 4 now see as number 4 is the first composite number number 4 is having two factors so these quadruple numbers 1 2 3 4 are leading us to five factors it is here where the inner structure is unfolding itself and is playing its role and is manifesting for us step ahead from four space to five space therefore we the sadhakas the students of vedic mathematics the students of vedic mathematics science and technology have to visit human body as open book of vedic mathematics and also as an encyclopedia of vedic mathematics science and technology the ganita sutras and sutras or the sutras of the mathematics of human body we have to 
approach the mathematical processes of these Ganita Sutras for our enlightenment about human body and existence phenomenon within human body. The human body will make Vedic mathematics while the existence phenomenon within human body will make Vedic mathematics, science and technology. Now, see Ganita Sutra 1. It says one more than one, a one step more. Means sequential increase. So from birth to death, we are having our sequential increase. Then, Ganita Sutra 1, Anurupen, proportionate, symmetry, follow the form as it is framed. Let us follow the form in which our body is framed. This form of our body, as per its frame, is symmetric. It is proportionate. Proportionate symmetry of the form of body as it is framed is the setup of the pure and applied values of Gita Sutra 1. Now, Ganita Sutra 1 and Ganita Sutra 1, when are taken as first set of the hymns of this system, then it will help us appreciate how Vedic mathematics is unfolding itself, supplementing itself, and this supplementing, unfolding process, integration process of these hymns deserves to be imbibed. Therefore, the text of Ganita Sutras is an independent, self-contained, self-sustained, a setup of fully potentialized mathematical domain. Likewise, Ganita Sutras are independent, self-contained, fully potentialized domain. However, both these domains are supplementing and complementing domains. It is this supplementation, supplementing and complementing feature of the Ganita Sutras and Upsutras which deserves to be visited and to be imbibed to reach at the integrated format of this pair of domains, single unified integrated domain. For it, we have to see the transition from Ganita Sutra 1 to Ganita Sutra 2 requires bridging. And this bridging of a reach from Ganita Sutra 1 to Ganita Sutra 2 is to be with the help of Ganita Sutra 1. Therefore, the integrated format will take starting with Ganita Sutra 1, followed by Ganita Sutra 1, then a reach at Ganita Sutra 2. Like that, we have to have the integrated format of 29 steps. Value 29 is parallel with the TC value of Brahma, creator. So, this mathematics along this integrated format is going to be the mathematics of the creator. Further, we know that value 6 as numbers range 1 to 16 leads us to factors 29, 16 plus 20. This will further help us appreciate as to how the artifices, numbers are interlocked. And this internal interlocking is there 
because of the numbers having their factors so numbers values and the factors form the interlocked setup of the numbers values unit like that the value 16 as 2 raised to power 4 is parallel with the dimensional frame of quadruple spatial dimension for space creator the space space presided by four head lord brahma therefore these artifices of numbers also interlocked with the dimensional frames within four space our 12 as the cube is manifesting additional 13th edge because of the availability of freedom of motion because of the fourth dimension of a fourth space this way the geometric flow formats for solids within four space domain the dimensional frames the artifices of numbers the interlocking of artifices of numbers values in terms of their units are making the mathematical processing happening within the numbers themselves further when we have a transition from ganita sutra 1 to ganita sutra 2 which is a setup with the working rule as that we have to transit from nine numerals to the 10th place value system all from nine last from it is this transition from linear progression which is only one directional progression flow to a special setup which provides which permits inward flow from both direction it is going to be a reach to place value systems it is going to be a reach of a very big leap forward this all brings us face to face with the happening within human body happening within the sunlight happening at the center of the earth happening at orb of the sun happening within heart of the human body heart within human body all these things are making earth sun and human body as open books of vedic mathematics as well as encyclopedia of vedic mathematics technology this initiation this insight this enlightenment is to be followed it is to be imbibed therefore when we will be entering from preliminary stage course to the next transition phase course we will be reaching at the perfect numbers primes 
and how the 168 primes up till 1000 so triple perfect number 628 496 up to 1000 and how the interlocking of the artifices of these of this range further manifest and get interlocked in hypercube two and three. as a simple synthetic format like that sequentially we have to proceed further from this phase and stage we will pick up in the next session in the meanwhile let us have our own sessions to visit ourselves, to visit our body, to visit what signals we could decipher from heart and mind coming to reaching us sound bits and making intelligent words, intelligent reservoirs of meaning, romance. Thank you very much.